So the brand new Apple Watch Series 9 has just came out, so you might be trying to figure out how you can use the keyboard within the specific Apple Watch. Now doing this is actually very basic, but first of all, we want to get into a panel that actually will basically accept a keyboard. So there's a lots of different things here that you can basically choose, but in this case, we can actually just make our way over to like our reminders application right here. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and not accept a few things, so we'll just kind of skip that. But within here, we're going to go ahead and just pull up our keyboard. We can do that by literally just going through and tapping on something, and we can just add a reminder, and we will have our standard keyboard come up. Now, using this keyboard, there's a couple different ways to do this. So for one, if you want to just type, you can try your best to go and start typing. So you can type in like, hi, and you can even see within a small keyboard like this, it's just very, very complicated, but you can still kind of make it work, right? So that's one way, but you can also use a swipe keyboard in here. So you can also use a swipe keyboard. So instead of just typing in H-I, you can swipe it. So if I wanted to type in like, hello, I can just grab the H-E-L-L-O -L -L like this. And it's actually a much smoother way of actually typing and getting text inside of the keyboard. So this is the smallest Apple Watch they make right now. So keep that in mind. But here, again, it's using the swipe method. So instead of typing, you basically drag, you drag your finger to where, you, where the letters are. And you basically let go when you're done with that word. So if I want to type in hello, how, right? I wanted to go H-O-W. I'm going to look at my keyboard and I'm going to drag my finger to hello, how. And then if I want to do R, A-R-U, A-R-E, just like that. And then Y-O-U, just like that. So th that's another way you can use the keyboard is by using the swipe keyboard. You can also tap on the little keyboard here to, if you want to change it to numbers. And it's a full-fledged keyboard, which is really cool. I think you, you can also swipe up. If you want to get into the emojis, you can tap on emojis here and you can see your emojis right here. What you can also do is use dictation instead if you just want to talk. You can just click that and talk inside of your keyboard. And whenever you're done, you can just click done. And that'll basically add that reminder or the, you know, that's basically how you use your keyboard. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.